Salam box guys, and in this video I'm going to be te uh, teaching you how to prove the speed of light with nothing more than what's in this basket. I'm joking, it's just an awesome basket, let me put it down now. Just regular household equipment like microwaves can actually prove the speed of light. So that's what I'm going to be teaching to you. And why, you might say? We already know the speed of light. Well, the government lied to us about many things like the fact that all messages that have ever been sent into and out of the US or residentially in the US are actually recorded, like the fact that almost all of your internet history is on one of their databases, and they lie about the weather too. But first, the boring math behind it. And now, we all know that wavelength times by frequency equals the speed of a wave, and we know that my microwave emits waves at like 1850 hertz, I think. I must check that. Remind me to check that before the end of the video. No, conveniently 2450 hertz. And you know what? Normal microwaves would say this on the side, at the top, or you know, like where they actually say the watts, which is really not important. But on my microwave, it's actually on the inside, here on the side. And if I just. I don't think you can focus on something that close camera. Right, ignore the camera bit. It says 2450 hertz in extremely blurry writing. Yeah, that might be better. So we just need to discover the wavelength of one of the waves in the microwave. And we have ourselves a winner. Now you're going to need some professional equipment for this. The first thing you're going to need is four slices of bread. You're going to need a knife. No, not that knife. You know, just a butter knife will do. You're also going to need some butter and, of course, a plate. Wow, this calculating the speed of light stuff is really complex and hardcore, man. In it, bro. First thing to do is to fail at spreading butter. Do the same to all four pieces of bread. If you mess up while spreading the butter, well, just hey, remove it like I am in this video clip above. Next thing you want to do is to completely mod your micro. So first remove the massive plate thingy. Then remove the wheels that are underneath the plate thingy, and then you want to put a plate over the spinny thingy. I really don't know the names of any of the stuff in the microwave. And finally, you want to put in your piece of bread and butter. Spam buttons on your microwave. It should start running if you do that. But notice it will spin. That's the whole point of this trick. Okay, 20 seconds later you should end up with something like this, but hopefully without the cross patterns because my microwave fires in cross rather than directly straight at it. So you want to measure the area that's not being cooked. In my case, well I can't. So, uh, I measured this area that had been. We all know the equation from earlier, frequency times by wavelength equals the speed of the wave. Now, theoretically light speed should be around 300 million. And we worked out that the frequency is 2,450 million from what I said on the inside of the microwave. And we already worked out that it's 12 centimeter wavelength, which if we convert to meters is 0.12 meters. Do some basic multiplication and you get 294 million, which is quite close to our 300 million theoretical value. And the reason being that it's slightly slower is because in air, light actually travels slower than it does in a vacuum, which is where our theoretical 300 million comes from. As usual, guys, don't forget to subscribe to Salam Box. The reason it's yellow is because, well, my channel is gold.